hot mm -hmm. out there. Yeah, it's still going to be around 90 degrees at 7 p.m. Ooh. here coming up. But uh, yeah, it's going to be dry too. So that's some good news. You know, those showers and storms getting in the way of those outside plans like the Charlotte Symphony playing out there in uh, Cornelius. And look at those beautiful, just puffy, fair weather cumulus clouds hovering overhead as we look live from our Dallas Tower camera. Just a nice couple of clusters of those perfectly placed and allowing tons of that sunshine to shine on down. Lots of Carolina blue sky today and heating things up into the low and mid 90s as expected. We knew we would see more of those mid 90s on the temperature map today and sure enough we have. We're sitting at 93 degrees right now in the Queen City with a west southwest wind at 5 to 10 miles per hour. Dew points are sitting in the mid 60s so a little more humidity today too but that relative humidity only about 38 percent but it makes it feel just that much hotter once you factor that in. You know how it goes. It's summertime here in the Carolinas. It's 88. We've stayed below 90 out there in Hickory in the 6 o'clock hour but still a hot sizzling 95 in Rockingham. We've got those low 90s in Monroe, Lancaster, Rock Hill, Fort Mill, South Carolina, and low and mid 80s for you all in the higher elevations. And as I said, yes, we're still going to be around 90 even at 8 o'clock this evening here. Lingering sunshine. The sun goes down and we'll keep the sky mostly clear to partly cloudy the rest of the night as most of the region stays dry. It's a dry scan right now, and I say most because we do actually have a couple of spotty showers, nothing too intense here, trickling in from the south and east with some of this tropical moisture from a wave of low pressure off to the south and of course working with the daytime heating and humidity to get some of these going and these are drifting up to the north. I think a lot of them will end up just fizzling before they make it to Chesterfield County or Lancaster County and even Richmond County, but just know those areas south and east of Charlotte, you all down through South Carolina will be in the more favored zone for seeing any of that much needed rain and much needed. It is yes at Charlotte. We're running now more than two inches below average so far in the rain department for the month of June. We've had two work weeks in a row with just totally dry conditions. Haven't picked up a drop of rain since last Sunday from out at the airport in Charlotte. As I showed you before the commercial break, the drought conditions starting to worsen. No surprise there across the area. Uh, so out the door tomorrow, we'll start in the low and mid 70s early on and then rise up into the low and mid 90s again tomorrow afternoon. More heat, more humidity with a slightly better chance of making Maybe a couple more neighborhoods seeing some of that cooling rain later we get into the day, but it will be humid as I said. So you factor that in and much like today, we'll have those feels like temps in the higher 90s to around the triple digits by say four or five o'clock. Tomorrow evening, it will likely feel like about 101 degrees out there in Sharon. That's in the shade. Once you step outside in the blazing sunshine, you can add about 10 to 15 degrees to those numbers. Now, tomorrow we are going to be tracking this incoming front. It will be approaching into Monday, so that could help deliver a couple more isolated spotty showers, maybe a stray thunderstorm tomorrow morning. We start with some clouds breaking out with more sunshine into the afternoon. Notice just a few minor blips of green indicating that small chance of a stray shower or an ice isolated storm. We could see a few more of those coming on by later tomorrow night and early Monday, but really Monday afternoon is still looking primarily dry with the best chance of rain ending up being more south and east of Charlotte out toward the coast by Wednesday. Another system looks to deliver a higher chance of rain and then we'll hold on to those chances with more heat and more humidity on the way for the latter part of next week. Tropical update. We were watching that system that was approaching the southeast coast. It's not going to develop into tropical system. It's just a wave of low pressure bringing some of those showers and storms. But watching this one after our Alberto made landfall earlier on this week, we could have another tropical depression trying to form in the coming days in the Gulf of Mexico. Otherwise looking quiet out there and it could be a little louder here with the chances of storms developing into next week. Temperatures stay just as hot as they have been here lately, low to mid 90s through the week.